everybody, this is Nolan here, and welcome to another episode of Dank and Rompa. And welcome aboard my Ark. Uh, Big Rompa 2, goodbye to Spare, and welcome aboard my Ark. Okay, so I'm here with my buddy Dylan, and in the last episode, what we did was we actually uh, went to uh, the. <clears throat> what was it? Oh my gosh, sorry. We. Went through like the first little part of uh, like so we, we just went through free time. We basically went through free time. Nekumaru got very injured by Monokuma and Akane doesn't feel any remorse for him because she was the one who tried to fight him. Monokuma's arm turned into like a bazooka, was gonna shoot Akane for fighting him for her for breaking the regulations. Then Nekumaru freaking jumps in in front of her and saves her only for her to be all like, oh, I don't care. He's gonna be fine. He's in the hospital right now. Anyway, Nekumaru's in the hospital. Anyway, go ahead. Hum? As I was walking to the restaurant, I suddenly stopped. <laughs> oh, never mind. What? Did I? My words just... Okay, go ahead. It took them right out of your mouth. Yeah, Jesus. I heard the sound of a girl crying inside the restaurant. Is that her? Is someone crying inside? Mikan. Or is it Hiyoko? I peeked inside and quietly walked into the restaurant. Oh, he's good so drink drinks. We went to, uh, <laughs> QT. What the- oh, what? I'm so sorry. Okay, I take back everything I just said. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Akane, you're the one who's crying? Where? It's joking. I'm scared. What's gonna happen to us? Well, I'm scared. What happened? Could you be in shock about what happened to Nekomaru? Jeez Louise, she has a heart too, apparently. I take that back. But yesterday, she was acting braver. I'm sorry for everything I said to you. <laughs> but what happened, Akane? It's not like you to cry. Get a grip on yourself. <laughs> I, I don't know what to do anymore. I mean, mean Nekomaru got killed, you know? What are you saying? It's not like Nekomaru's dead yet. <laughs> I'm scared. I don't want this anymore. Wow, well, let me go hot back home. She must be so shocked that Nekomaru sacrificed himself for her. No, there's no way that explains a change this sudden and drastic. What do I do now? <laughs> Just leave? Oh, okay. Bro, talk to other people. I know, but I gotta... Hey, what happened to Akane? Isn't she acting kind of weird? I see. Hajime, be careful. That's probably not real Fuyuhiko. What? I know. The real Fuyuhiko is already dead. That's why that's probably Fuyuhiko's clone. You... What are you saying? Hey. Also, I heard Monokuma and Nekumaru couldn't be saved. What? It's unfortunate, but a transfer student is apparently going to come soon as a replacement. What is he saying? <laughs> so let's all give that person a warm welcome. You, are you messing around? It's the truth. I'm not messing around. I always speak the what? truth. In order to prove it, I'll explain it especially to you. Listen carefully. Listen carefully, Hajime. I finally discovered who the traitor is. <laughs> you know, the true identity of the world ender. The traitor who was hiding among us is... No mistake. Byakua. He's dead. <laughs> That's right, Byakua's alive. What? You're the one who tried to kill him in the first place. Jesus. He's been weird from the start, but isn't he acting much weirder than usual? Okay. Hey! Hey, it's definitely best if we keep Nagito tied up. No, not just tied up. No. I won't be satisfied until I peel the skin off his face and expose the meat so we can't identify him anymore. That doesn't sound very gentle. Did he do something to you? Hm. That idiot, he lied to me about Mahiro being alive and said he saw her in a movie theater. Why, why is he telling such a pointless lie? I don't know. I, I hate being lied to. Jeez. I won't feel satisfied until his joints are bent in awkward angles. It'd probably be a waste of time to find out the reason for each little thing Nagito does, but I don't get this at all. Why did he have such to tell such an outrageous lie? Yes. Pardon me, everyone, but you happen to have some time to spare. Hello, my name. It may be rude of me, but I would like to say my greens first thing in the morning. Good morning. I look forward to working with you all today. What are you doing here? I Ibuki? Yes, I am Ibuki Miyota. Aren't you acting strange too? What the frick? Wait. Be careful, Ibuki. Hajime's dangerous. He wants to kill you and eat you. What? <laughs> what? What are you saying? 
Yes. Mr. Hajime, I am not tasty. Please do not eat me. He's obviously lying. I see. So it was a lie. It's the truth. It's not a lie. I never tell lies. Understood. I see. So it was not a lie. It may be necessary for me to beg for my life after all. What the heck is this? Akane, Nagito, Ibuki, they're all acting strange. What's going on? Did they go crazy or something? It wouldn't be strange to go crazy in a situation like this. But that's not it! Yes. Ibuki, she has extremely high fever that's probably the cause. That's Before you start talking, I want you to tell me something. Who the hell are you? Oh my. Why you forget me? I'm Mekong Sumiki! Anyway, please try touching her forehead. If you do, you'll see what I mean. My hand to her forehead? Ibuki, just a Understood. second. In exchange, please spare my life. I softly placed my hand onto Ibuki's forehead while she continued to spout gibberish. She's hot? <laughs> she, she's hot. Oh, whoa, no, stop. What is this? This heat is abnormal. Yes. That's right. She was terribly high fever. Then could the others... Akane, uh, please uh, let me feel your forehead, too. I'm sorry. I am so weak. I placed my hand onto Akane's forehead while she groaned and kept sobbing. That must be it. She has a high fever, but there's no way that's a normal bo human body temperature. Nagi Nagito, you sorry, too. Sorry. <laughs> I don't have a fever. I feel extremely great today. I placed my hand on his forehead. Once again, I got the same result. What? Huh? All three of them have high fevers? What? What? Then the reason those guys are saying such wacky stuff is... Emergency! My goodness! That's obviously bad! Monokuma. What? For him to appear right now, does this mean this is... Whoa there, can you just wait a second for the explanation? The others are on their way too. And just as Monokuma said, I heard the sound of pounding footsteps. Oh, this is the motivation! Oh, okay. Finally! <laughs> Everyone would gather it all, and all had confused expressions plastered onto their faces. What's going on? N now what? Hey, hey. I heard it from Monokuma. Looks like something strange is going on again. Mm -hmm. Did something happen to you guys? Now then. Looks like everyone's here. Now then, let's start with the explanation. Wait. Oh, hold on. Monokuma, you're pulling a plank again, aren't you? And what happened to Nekumo? Hurry up and return him first, you robber bear. Mm -hmm. Nekomaru, are you talking about the boy who turns into a woman when he gets splashed with water? Who the heck is that? Nekomaru doesn't have a weird ability like that. <laughs> what? Oh no. Jeez, shut up. Oh my, why? I don't even know what's been done to me, but I've been <laughs> mysterious like energy. I'm so confused. Well, man. Now that I've shut up the nuisance, let's get back to the topic at hand. Though, I'm pretty sure you guys have already noticed since you're all quick-witted. So, just as I thought, the true identity of this high fever is... That's right! That's right! This is the new motive that I've given to you! This is the despair disease! Despair disease? You know, there are extremely tiny insects that can't be seen with the naked eye living on this island! A despair disease?! What does that even what does that even mean? What kind of disease is that? Is that even diagnosable? It's not like Wait. I added them recently. I just never told you about them. Anyway, the endemic disease spread by these insects is called the despair disease. The despair disease? I never heard of such a thing. Well Then let me tell you about it. As the name suggests, the despair disease. Oh, because is... she's such a bad nurse. <laughs> A really annoying disease where you get a high fever along with various symptoms that are full of despair. Those symptoms are different based on the person. For instance, Nagito is afflicted by the liar disease. Akane has the coward disease. Ibuki has the gullible disease, I guess. What? They just had to get citizens that are the opposite of their normal personalities. Except for Nagito. Hey, um... It's not like... <coughs> it's not like you guys that are down with sickness yet. But be careful. Sometimes the despair disease can get passed from person to person like a cold. You mean it is contagious? <laughs> yes! <laughs> don't put your guard down because you don't have the disease. It'd be awful if everyone got sick. Hey, 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 Let's hey. run, Miss Sonya. It'd be terrible if you got a lonely disease of common folks. That's right. Let's run away. I don't want to catch such a weird disease. Why? And why? Is that a motive? Why are you saying that a killing will occur soon after everyone falls into a crazy state? 
Isn't this quite a novel idea? A killing that occurs while everyone has completely different personality. Think of all the murder tricks! Is there any way to treat it? Why? Why? Is there a need to treat it? I mean, this despair disease isn't supposed to make you suffer. It's a disease that cures your soft heart. Your soft heart's towards killing. And with this, you can finally take the plunge and commit murder! You pee-pee! You better stop talking about this Wait, he doesn't crap. have- he doesn't have a cure? Nope. Wait, what? <laughs> that, shouldn't that be the motive? Like, getting the cure- okay, whatever. Hey, it's not my fault! <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm always bothering you! Right. I've decided, as an apology, I'm going to commit murder. Oh my gosh! Are there any, uh, caracal briquettes somewhere? Oh, he's lying. I'm pretty sure I found him at the supermarket! Oh my god. S stop it! Akane, Nakito, Ibuki, you guys stay put. Hey. You're wrong. I'm not Nakito. To tell you the truth, Nakito Komaeda is a fake name. I'm sorry I kept it a secret till now. Understood. Oh, I see. What the? She's believing him again. So serious. Amazing. Man, whatever. I feel so great today. This despair disease is awesome. <laughs> despair, 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 despair. It's amazing you all should get it too. So he's he's got the dis the despair disease. <laughs> and he's like the opposite of hope. Now, great. Okay. Anyway, we're all done for. There's no such thing as hope. We all have to die from just such despair disease. Okay. So he's just as bad. <laughs> he's just as bad. That's the only way. Thump. <laughs> oh my God! He just went so crazy. He fell. He collapsed. Whoa! He collapsed. <laughs> now that I've given you a new motive, how will things develop? He's like the narrator. Will the killing start after everyone gets a despair disease? Or even before that? Drills, I'm drills, so drills. excited about it! I'm just gonna stand around naked. He already is. Just kidding! I'm always naked. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Hey! Damn it! Nekomaru's incident just happened and now this? Where did that peaceful move that lasted till yesterday go? Uh -huh. <laughs> the SD bag, Yogi Joey's foaming at the mouth! She's right, I've never seen such a foam that color before. Ew! Impossible! It's an elephantary wear color, normally only found in depths of the Neverworld Sea. Oh, <laughs> what? <laughs> in that case, the color doesn't matter. So let's hurry over him and take out over to the hospital. Got it, I'll help out. Please wait. Um, what should we do about Takana and Ibuki? Anyway, we're definitely going to bring them too. We don't know what will happen if we leave them alone. Hey, peepees, can you walk? Yes. Allow me to confirm. I just have to alternate the movements of left and right leg, correct? <laughs> well, hold on. I I'll walk, so don't leave me. So don't leave. Uh, I'll walk, so don't leave me. Let's go. What the frick? With the disease in tow, and Nagito, whose condition was clearly clearly worsening. We rushed over to the hospital, but this kind of motive is impossible. An actual despair disease? And there's a possibility that it might be passed along. What the heck? Damn it, what should I do? Uh, not do anything. So guess what? This is where you're going to be for the next five days. What? <laughs> I'll go make the investigate your clothes and I'll have to see you in the patient's room. Really? Understood. Understood. So I just have to change my clothes, correct? Oh my, same <laughs> setting, man. Uh, I'm scared of changing. Anyway, everyone has Peaceway here! As she supported all three of them <laughs> with her shoulders, Mikan disappeared into the depths of the hospital. Damn okay. It. Damn it. I never expected us to get sick. What's going to happen? Let me tell you. I would this. not mind if Nagito retired permanently. Maybe. Is Mikan gonna personally change their clothes? What's wrong with that? No. Does that include Nagito too? Isn't that a little bad? <laughs> <laughs> There's no need to panic. Even I attend to these knees of my four dark devas of destruction. Hey, don't lump hamsters and teenage boys together. Hey, this is a stupid conversation going to last much longer. Hey. Shouldn't we be seriously thinking about what we need to do from now on and stuff? What we need to do from now on. Hmm. I guess I can only talk to people. Looks like things are getting pretty strange. So. But now's not the time for us to do our best. We need to stand firm until Nekomaru comes back. Don't overwork yourself too much, though. Your wound hasn't fully healed yet. Heh, <laughs> I can't slack off now. Jeez! That disease sure looks dangerous. Nagito, Akane, and Ibuki aren't acting normal. 
If it spreads to anyone else, the killing is bound to happen. Let me tell you. Based on their observed behavior, I cannot deny that. But those guys aren't going considerate. I mean, are being considerate. I want them to at least have the decency to consider committing suicide before they start bothering us. Oh my god. See how terrible she is? Hey, hey, Hiyoko. <laughs> I know, I can't, it can't be that easy. So it's important to make sure we don't end up catching the disease. What? Make sure, what do you mean? Jeez, why don't you get it? We need to isolate them from us so they won't spread the disease. I isolate? Ew. If you can't cure it, the only option is to stop it from spreading. Even a preschooler knows that. But still, isn't isolating them a bit too harsh? Hey, if everyone catches the despair disease, we won't be able to do anything about it anymore, you know? This is bad. You're, you're right, there's no way we should allow it to spread. Hold, hold on a sec. Hey, hey. Now, hold Isol on a sec, <laughs> hold on a sec. <laughs> Isolation, you mean we need to quarantine them inside the hospital, right? Shiaki, don't tell me you also agree with That's this? Wrong. It's to prevent a killing. As long as that disease is Monokuma's motive, if we just ignore it, a killing will happen again. To prevent that, we also have to uh, prevent the disease from spreading. That's why we need to quarantine them. Like... Whoa, she's actually agreeing. If we quarantine them, who's gonna take care of them? <laughs> no one. <laughs> Mikan's gonna stay here anyway. She's been touching the infected all over, so it's possible she's already caught the disease. But there's no way we can leave her by herself. Hey. Then why don't you stay too? Oh, jeez. Huh? Huh? Now that I think about it, you touched them when you took their temperature, right? Oh. So, I'll leave the rest to you. Contact me when something happens. Contact you? How are we supposed to do that? Jeez. Oh, right. We need to think of a way to communicate. If we keep up meeting in person, we would catch the disease. Oh, my God. Hey, you. So, I'll let you handle that of Kazuichi. Uh. Yeah, yeah, got it. Fine. Wait, what? <laughs> Fret not. We are not going to abandon you. I shall station myself nearby in case anything happens. Nearby? There's a motel on this island. Until this matter is resolved, we shall stay the night there. Aww. What? Do we really have to stay in such a dirty place? Silence. What are we supposed to do if we can't immediately get here and something happens? Also, if that disease is airborne, the hotel on the first island might already be unsafe. We must be vigilant about protection. I have those who must protect. They're just hamsters, dude. <laughs> that is an unkind thing to say, you fiend. How dare you call my four dark devas of destruction hamsters. Jeez. <laughs> Fine. I shall stay at the hotel, okay? Hamsters. Jeez, how annoying. They're not hamsters. They're turtles. <laughs> Even if it's a quarantine, we're still gonna be in the same island, so just call uh, so just call us if something happens. Huh? What, what, what are you frustrated for? I don't for? like this. This is obviously a trap. Monokuma's goal is to separate us as a group. It isn't really okay for us to, is it okay for us to fall for that? So... It's not like we've stopped being friends. We just don't want to, uh, want the killing to happen ever again. We can't prevent that if everyone gets sick, you know? You know, right? Yeah, that's right, man. There's no way we're gonna lose together here, you know? That's right. Because if that happens, Amanakuma gets what, what he wants. Makes sense. Hey, Hiyoko, what did you say to me earlier? Something about me being the first one to get cut off? And? What's wrong with that? <laughs> this, this must be the moment. It's not like Mikan and Hajime are enough people. You. Are you saying you're gonna stay here too? Huh, you too? <laughs> This is a life of mine. This life of mine is a spare anyway. Huh. Fine then, do whatever you want. Hey, for you, Hiko, are you sure? You might end be endangering yourself, you know? Jeez. Hey, don't make me repeat myself. Hey, hey. You really, really okay with this? Then I'm gonna leave the rest to you too. Whatever's happening over here, just leave it to us. I'll make sure to keep the disease from spreading. Come on, shouldn't you guys head over to the motel before you catch the disease? I am sorry, I am sorry. we are for uh, forcing this upon you like this. No. What everyone's saying is true, so it's okay. Uh, thank you, both of you. I won't let you change. Won't let your feelings go to waste. We'll make sure to find out the mis mystery of the despair disease while you're all here. I think. I think probably. <laughs> I I'd really prefer if she had a more confident sounding catchphrase. Um. Now then, I shall excuse myself. I'm counting on you. <laughs> then I'll make sure to figure some way to communicate later. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Do your best and try to stay alive. Oh, okay. <laughs> And just like that, the others left, leaving me and Fuyuhiko at the hospital. I never expected it would turn out like this. Jeez. It's not like it's their fault. It's that PP Monokuma's fault. Tch. I can't believe he'd actually arrange something as irritating as a disease. <laughs> Hello. 
Ah, thanks for waiting. <laughs> Phew, I finally ch uh, finished changing. Everyone's resting in their rooms. They find some. Ooh, why is this just you two? Huh? Um, you know. Ah, I know. You must have just to get fruits to bring back later. <laughs> hey, everyone's so kind. I'm so glad everyone's so thoughtful toward their friends. <laughs> well, uh, stupid. Well, like I said. Hey, <laughs> we're all equals here. We're stiff. Let's all work together and do our very best. Ugh. Hajime, I'm sorry, but I'll let you handle the explanation. That's quite the burden I have to bear. That's quite the bear I have to burden. <laughs> and so, we decided to split into two groups. If I had to talk to Mikan, I would be like, well, boom, I'm dead. I'm gonna kill myself. So. In the hospital, there were three people who caught Monokuma's spare disease. Akane, Nagito, and Ibuki. There's also Mikan, who's nursing them back to health. And as a safeguard, Fuyuhiko and myself. Together, six people are staying at the hospital. Shiaki, Gundam, Kazuichi, Sonya, and Hiyoko are staying at the motel on the same island. As for Nekomaru, he's not back yet, but... Anyway, until we do something about this despair disease, our current situation isn't going to change. This would be a really cool anime. Honestly, like, I don't know why they didn't make it into one. But we have no clue what we need to do. Seriously, what should we do? Because you can make it longer when it's a game. Yeah, you can... Uh, well, okay, well, still. Uh, as I suddenly woke up. And if I woke up, as an if I woke up, that means I fell asleep if I'm realizing it. Earlier, I discussed it with Fuyuhiko and we decided we'd take turns resting. That's right. That's why I came to the on-call room on the second floor of the hospital. I haven't been sleeping well for the past few days, so a sudden drowsiness overtook me. And I was asleep, which is a good thing, but my body feels heavy for some reason. Mr. Stark, I, I don't feel so good. I can't breathe. I... It's not just heavy, it feels somewhat soft and... No. 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 It's... No. No! 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 Get off of him! Ew. Get off! She's gonna kill him! She's gonna freaking murder him, and then it's gonna be like, I would get me! God, what are you doing? God, would Nagito be the protagonist then if Hajime died? Yes! Ew! Like. She's gonna, like, fall off the bed. He's got a hair. No, stop. Boy, I <laughs> Stop. No. Hajime, you okay? You can blast it as a blast purple stain or maybe severe cyanotic reaction. Hajime, can you hear me? Get a hold of yourself. Mikan finally got off to me, grabbed my shoulders, and began shaking me intensely. She's so stupid. She's so... I hate her so much. Somehow, that was enough to get my consciousness to drift back to reality. Ugh. Hajime! <sighs> uh, Hajime, you regained consciousness. <laughs> I'm so glad. I thought you died. <laughs> Just imagine the actual girl has a voice like that, though. <laughs> She's so glad. <laughs> me too. I seriously thought I was gonna die. She would have murdered him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I thought you were taking a rest in the call room, but you were already asleep, so... That doesn't mean you can climb on top of me! Then I'll be at the bottom next time. That's seriously not what I'm talking about! What? Hey, hey. <laughs> hey! Hey, what are you doing without me? Doing this without me for? <laughs> He's just, he has his shirt off. Oh, no. What are you guys doing? <laughs> Who you hiko? I was just, uh... <laughs> no, no, this is... I really hope you didn't get the wrong idea. Don't tell me. You guys sleeping together? <laughs> you dirty rotten peepee! -pee. You guys freaking high school students! You guys are high school students! Seriously, you got this all wrong. Damn it! I don't have time for that! Nagito, he's in danger. Danger? What? When I peeked inside his room earlier, it looked like he wasn't breathing. <laughs> huh? <laughs> this is bad! That was the time that I'm fit to do this! Mikan. Vergously leapt out of bed and ran out Damn of the all-call room. Hajimes, now is not the time for you to be pitching a tent. We need to hurry. Seriously, I'm not. Fuyuhiko and I chased after Mikan. <laughs> she ran to Nakito's room. I mean, his hair was standing up. It's standing, standing up. up. <laughs> Jinx, I'm sure. You fly pole. <laughs> Stuffing! Stuffing! <laughs> now, Nagito, please get a hold of yourself, man! Despite Mikan's desperate pleas, I didn't see Nagito react at all. Don't tell me. There's no way he died, right? The body discovery announcement isn't playing, right? Hey, fidget, fidget! 
What? <laughs> okay, keep going. Damn it. <laughs> He's totally waiting for it. I don't know. <laughs> yes. Fidget. <laughs> Fidget. <laughs> what? <laughs> what the hell? Just keep reading. Despite me cuts, desperate cries, I didn't see Doc until We're trying to get to the all. murder, dude. Nikon, is Nagito alright? Uh, um, it looks like his breathing has returned. Really? But still, his condition is unpredictable, and that's putting it lightly. Hey, hey! How light is that? Is Fidget. it a sweet Fidget. potato sock? Yeah. <laughs> if so, that's pretty light. Please don't interfere. Hey, look, isn't Nagito's mouth moving? You're right, he might be trying to say something. <laughs> Nagito, what happened? As she said his name, Mikan softly tilted her ear toward Nagito's lips. What did he say? Um, Apparently, his condition is I don't have ears right now, dude. I'm wearing headphones. Apparently, his condition is improved and he feels quite refreshed. Uh, since Monokuma said that Tanagito has the liar disease, he probably means the opposite and actually feels really crappy. Like... But what's going to happen if he just dies? We're not going to have a class trial, right? Ah! Don't talk like that! <laughs> Nagito is never going is never going to die. I'll save him by any means necessary, even though he's still a jerk and he has he's a murderous fiend who tried to kill Biakio, but whatever. I see. <laughs> I see. Got it. Then I'll leave Nagito's life to you. Yes! Y yes. <laughs> Far from her usual self, Mikan responded assertively and went back to tending to Nagito. If we stay here any longer, we might just get it in the way. Damn right. And follow me. While you were resting, the goods arrived. The goods show them to you. The goods arrived. When we resting, the goods arrived. He just like like a New York accent. In his pocket. Oh my God! The goods aren't Wanna something buy some drugs dangerous, out right? Anyway, let's go to the lobby. We're gonna be here for a while. Might as well, you know, make it entertaining. <laughs> Start smoking. Wait, is that what he said? Wait, what are you? Okay, <laughs> forget it. Oh wait, the lobby. Man, he's like the helper of this chapter. It seems like it. I don't know. Four days left, right? Jesus. Hey, Fuyuhiko, what did you mean when you said good? Damn right. Look at the top of the reception desk. On top of the reception desk? What? <laughs> oh. Fuyuhiko is talking about this, right? It looks like a monitor and a camera unit. Hey, what is this? Huh. Perfect timing. The blue light is blinking. Does something happen when this blinks? Something is believing, as they say. Scene Try pressing the scene is believing, as they say. Try pressing the button below that light. I had just have to press the button. I did what Fuyuhiko said and pressed the button. Oh my gosh! What's up? Hey, is this Hajime? Hehe, <laughs> loud and clear. Uh, looks like it's perfectly connected. Kazuichi, <laughs> Kazuichi, <laughs> don't tell me you murdered someone. <laughs> this is what. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. That's the way to communicate he was talking about. I like that when you do that, like, raspy note. All right! Looks like it's time for the ultimate mechanic to shine! How about this? This is what I've been working on. I'm gonna give him a Vegeta voice. Remember that? Yeah. Oh, jeez. Uh, Nappa, Vegeta, Remember that alley with all those shady-looking street boots? You should totally give They're Kazuichi all... a Nappa right, voice. This. Nappa. Give really? him a Nappa voice. Do it. I'm literally giving him a Nappa voice right now. Just try it. It's a surveillance camera for all the household use, Vegeta. <laughs> and I just tweaked it a little. <laughs> it's I mean, I, I it's mean, so much better. All right. So now it's basically a video game chat device. Well, it's pretty hit or miss. Video chat, huh? It's it's oh. true. We don't have the right to worry about getting infected with this. That's right. So it may be a hassle, but we'll be contacting each another uh, with this from now on, okay? Vegeta, Vegeta. <laughs> we'll all get a test on run this time, so I guess this should be pretty fun. Okay then, see you later. <laughs> I guess from now on. It's Nappa. It's Nappa. Kazuichi left this while you were resting. Damn right. This is a surveillance camera unit that comes with a surveillance camera and a surveillance monitor. Anything the camera records is broadcast live on the monitor. So we prepared two of these sets and swapped each of the cameras. I see. By swapping cameras, his monitor will display what's on my camera and vice versa. Apparently, he also modified it a little. He widened its narrow communication range just beyond household use. Even so. But even so, he's still at a limit. So apparently the signal can't reach the hospital to the motel. Then we can't communicate between the hotel and the hospital. <laughs> you didn't notice? 
while he was contacting you just from the music venue near the motel. From there, the signal reaches the hospital with no problems. But they're staying at the motel, right? What happens if we can't reach them when we need Damn to? Right. I thought the same thing, so we arranged times for us to contact each other. It's set up for us to communicate 30 minutes after Monokuma's morning and evening announcements. <laughs> Our next contact with them is going to be tomorrow morning. Don't sleep in. He's well prepared. I suspected of the hair of an enormous organization. Yeah, that makes sense. Huh? Imagine Vegeta with an iPad. Vegeta! Vegeta! <laughs> oh, jeez. What was it? Nothing. No, Nepple! Alright. Ding dong, bing bong. Oh! It's the morning? Oh, it's 10 p.m.? Wait, what? It's yeah. only the first day? Yeah. What? It's that time already, huh? Now then, where should I sleep tonight? Are days gonna go faster? <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> Are you planning to use the on-call room with a certain someone again? Like I said, it's not what it looked like. You guys... Hey, hey, aren't you misunderstanding? What are you thinking? The hospital is a facility for sick people. So it's not a lodging for young romantic triists, you know? You two, what are you talking about? Oh, oh I see. Generation has fallen out of the habit of looking at the bulletin boards. Come on, take a look at the bulletin board. There's a notice on there, right? A notice on the bulletin board? <laughs> Check the notice. <laughs> a bulletin board notice. He's talking about this. Hospital precautions. Eating and drinking is forbidden within the hospital building. If patients do not need to be accompanied overnight, stays in non-patients are expressively forbidden. What? They're forbidden? Right! It's like the notices you often see inside hospitals. You can't stay overnight here. What are you what? saying? There is one patient that needs to be accompanied. Hmm. Oh, you're talking about Nagito, right? I'm then I'll just allow one person to accompany him. The rest of you need to hurry up and get out of here. Jeez. Hospitality protection's my ass. He seems said so sooner. Only one person can save the night, and there's no way we can make Nikon leave. Jeez. I prepared. guess we have no choice. We should head back to our cottages then. You're right. Even if we stay here, we probably won't be able to do anything. <sighs> After explaining the circumstances to Mikon, we decided to go back to our cottages for the time being. Well, <laughs> so. Fuyuhiko and I are going to be the only ones sleeping in our cottages tonight. <laughs> I'm a little worried. Oh, well that sucks for the rest of them. <laughs> no, the only ones who are stuck in the hospital should be more worried. What's the point of me getting so worried? All right, when I wake up tomorrow, I'll go to the hospital right away. I feel bad leaving Mikan alone. I guess for now I should try to get some sleep. All right, Monokuma Theater. That should have taken like 10 minutes. Oh, friend. Good evening! Today we're gonna learn how to make Taiyaki. The first thing you'll need is... A time machine! You travel back in time to the Meiji period and meet a person named Shinjiro Kanabi. He used to bake and sell turtle-shaped pastries, but unfortunately they never sold all that well. It's important that you gently clear cheer him on, because he's gonna be disappointed in himself when you meet him. From there, get serious and intense he try baking his pastries fish-shaped, because they'll sell better. Once that happens, he'll happily bake the pastries in the shape of a fish. And as a final touch, name these pastries Taiyaki. Okay, with this, you've finished making Not Taiyaki. You, this concludes Monokuma's cooking class. What? Okay, I need to like reread that so I can make that. No, I'm just joking. So I can have that for dinner or something. That actually sounds pretty good. The fish and the fish. Alright. All right. Well, that's day one of date of four. I'm one worried about Mikan and the others. I should hurry over to the hospital. The moment I got out of bed, I immediately left my cottage and headed over to the hospital. Immediately? You even get dressed? You didn't get breakfast. Oh my God! You didn't even get your breakfast. You gotta eat your breakfast. <laughs> breakfast. Yo. Yo. You came early today. You're the one who's early. Damn right. Well, I just got here. So what should we do? There's still a little time before we need to make contact. Want to go to Nagito's room and check up on him? Yeah, I'm worried about how he's doing. Worry? Why do I have to worry about a guy like him? Still. Alright, let's go check up on him. Wait, check up on Akane? Nagito. Oh, Nagito. I was like, what? <laughs> uh, room four. There's symbols on the doors now. Oh, 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 cool. Oh. Oh, okay. Thank you! <laughs>
There he is. <laughs> In all his glory, he's dead. Econ, how's Nagito doing? Same as usual. No, actually, might be worse than yesterday. This is bad. Are you freaking serious? His post extremely weak. He might slip into critical condition sometime today. Is he that sick? But as long as I'm his nurse, I'll never let Nagito die. Ever! I do understand how you feel, but don't overexert yourself, okay? Hey, Hajime. It's almost time to start the connection. We need to head over to the lobby. Yeah, got it. Don't be nice to me, Khan. Right. After being reminded of how powerless I am, I left Nagito's room. Oh, man. Alright. I hope, uh, it's gonna be a little weird to see Akane. Let's see how she's doing. She's probably like, oh my god, what is she wearing? Oh, that's a little, uh... <laughs> Eh, okay. Hey, Akane, what happened? You're making a scary face. I'm sorry it's all cause I'm so weak. Is like making a scary face? Your worry is showing up on your face, you pee pee. You're just gonna keep scaring her. Let's go already. Yeah, I'm sure you're right. Okay. <laughs> Who are we gonna talk to? Are we gonna talk to Nekomaru? We'll see. I hope so. Ibuki? Oh man, I, I hope Nekomaru's okay. That's like the one I'm really worried about. Oh my god. No, get yes. out of here. Excuse me, you don't look so well. Did something happen? It's nothing, I'm fine. Understood. I understand, you are fine. Then I'm not going to worry. <laughs> it wouldn't be strange if Ibuki got worse like Nakito, huh? Alright. <laughs> That's hopefully our daily tasks. <laughs> Where are we going now? Can, Can I just talk? Or lobby? Surveillance camera, yeah. The incoming signal light is blinking. Now then. Looks like they're already waiting. Let's hurry up and start the connection. Yeah, you're right. I pressed the button underneath the blinking light, and the monitor instantly lit up. Looks like the camera on the monitor had no problem making a connection. Soon enough, a familiar face showed up on the other side of the monitor. That's actually really cool. I like that. What's up? Hello, how is it? How, can you see my hand, uh, my handsome face? Yeah, I can see you real clear. <laughs> well, we're good at, on our end. I can totally see your broke best faces. It might be best if I tell the others about Nakito's condition. Hey, are you the only one over there? Nope, we're all here except for Hiyoko. What happened? What happened to Kyoko? <laughs> it seems we all look like embarrassed enemies in the eyes of that coward. She was lo she had locked herself in a room. She said from the other side of the door that she won't come out until despair disease has been cured. She's even being cautious around the others in the hotel, huh? Looks like they're also in a testy situation. Hey, hey. So how about you? Are you guys how are you guys doing? Yeah, about that. To tell you the truth, Nagito's actually in serious danger. Mm. I already know he's seriously dangerous. No, no, not that, you idiot. He's seriously wandering about the border between life and death. What did you say? However, but is he going to be alright? Nagito is going to do be get better. Why do they care so much about him? I, in the first place, they never even liked him. First Nekomaru, then Nagito? That ain't funny at all. Well, for now, we really can't say. You will, we can't say. That's impossible. Monami, <laughs> why are you on that side? Because it'd be dangerous if I got close to a hospital since I only know what's going on here. You're really pissing me off. Like, why does a stupid stuffed animal need to be cautious about a disease? Well, please don't discriminate. <laughs> that disease is horrible. It's a dangerous disease that can't even destroy this island. Whoa. So if we figure out how to deal with it, I'll be on, I'll be on this side. Wasn't you, weren't you always, Blip? Before I can respond to Monami, Fuyuhiko had cut the connection. With me. Sh crappy stuffed animal, she seriously pissed me off. Damn it. I'm going outside to cool off. Fuyuhiko practically spat those words before he went outside. Uh -huh. Anyway, all we can do now is wait. Just wait patiently until the situation improves. <laughs> that's why it's called for the better. That's why it's called the patient room. Wait, no, the waiting room. Whatever. <laughs> the waiting room. <laughs> that's why we waited patiently. Because waiting patiently was the only thing we could do. We waited patiently. On a side note, how can I relax when I'm in the hospital? I paced back and forth around the hospital lobby, 
Fuyu Pico entered, and I left the hospital many times. And time just kept passing by. Well, it's nighttime already. <laughs> that was quick. Alright, here we go. Damn it! It feels like a lot of stuff got skipped over now, and it's nighttime already. <laughs> exactly, it just got Monokuma speech did. <laughs> it's almost time for tonight's transmission. We should get back to our cottages when that's done. It's freaking annoying to keep going back and forth, though. But before we go back, can we check on Nagito one more time? Go for it. Leave this transmission thing to me. Jeez. They're not gonna have a new clue anyway. I can handle this. Then, I'll leave it to you. Alright, let's go check on Nagito. Oh my god, what are you doing up? Ah, uh, whoa, Ibuki. What are you doing here? You need to be resting. Yes. She's really creepy. To tell you the truth, I've been getting quite bored doing nothing but sleeping. Also, it would just trouble you if I slept all the time. So I was hoping I could help you with anything. But it's better if I'm sleeping, correct? Yes, very, yes. Get out of here. Yeah, just get some rest for now. It'd be a big help if you got better soon. Understood. Yes. Understood. That's kind of scary. I hope she gets real better soon. <laughs> she's really creeping me out. Like, she's creeping me out more than Nagito's creeping me out, dude. What the f Fridge? Okay, that just looked creepy at nighttime. Alright, let's check on Nag- Nagi. Nagi Nagito. That- Okay, she's creeping me out more than anyone right now. Ugh. Alright, anyway. Nikon's too focused on caring for Nagito. She hasn't even noticed that I entered the room. Has she been caring for him this whole time? Hey, Mikan. Hey, Mikan. No matter how many times I talk to her, she's not responding. Her back is turned toward me as she's focused on caring for Nagito. I peeked over Mikan's shoulder and said, Hey, Mikan, are you okay? Yeah! <laughs> Looks like you finally noticed. Can't be so surprised, baby scout. What? Uh, did you come by to check on Nagito? Uh, we'll just forget that right now. Go ahead. I just wanted to see how he's doing, but you look pretty tired, too. Isn't it better if you get a little rest? Um, um I hope I'm not mistaken, that's really embarrassing. Uh, are you by chance worried about me? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you very much. I'll remember this moment until the day I die. <laughs> I'm starting to sound more like Ifumi, though. Hey, I'm starting to get real energy back, so I can start to take care of Nagito. There we go. That's, that's the Mikan. I hope she understand what I said. But she's working so hard, it'd be bad if I kept getting in her way. That's exactly how I felt. So I decided to just shut up and go back to the lobby. Shut up, Hajime. Go get back to lobby. Shut up and You die. sure it's five days or you're not quite sure? It's yeah. definitely about five days. Frick. Yo, how's Nagito doing? I'm more worried about Mikan than Nagito. She looks like she had no time to rest. Damn it. Nagito's probably not doing so well. What about you? Are you guys done with the transmission? Jeez. As I expected, we wrapped it up quickly, like they had nothing new to report. They're apparently trying to find a cure somehow, but there hasn't been any progress. So on both our ends, it looks like we had no results. Jeez, oh pathetic. well, let's look forward to tomorrow. With a depressingly heavy mood riding on our backs, we headed back to our cottages. Alright. <sighs> My worries have piled so high that just one sigh isn't just enough. Something's gonna get worse. Something's gonna happen. <laughs> And the more I think about it, it's more like I'm slowly being sucked deeper and deeper into an endless pit. Obviously something's gonna happen. I guess for today, I should just go to sleep. It's not- it's best if I do not dwell on it too much. And not just that, first thing in the morning I need to go to the hospital again. I kept telling myself that as I sighed one last time, and slowly closed my eyes. Into a deep slumber. Out of the blue, a hazy scene began to take shape. From the depths of my consciousness, it slowly took its time, hazily, like watercolor paint suspended in water. Slowly, hazily. There was a classroom from somewhere. A classroom that I've seen before, but I don't know where. Hope's Peak Academy! I can hear voices. Somebody's talking. Did you hear that? Isn't that amazing? Apparently he's been accepted in Hope's Peak Academy, but he was that exceptional. Those are noises. I'm dully staring out the window. Pretending not to listen. I don't want to listen. But even if I don't want to listen, the noises leap into my ears. Huh? You don't know? Heh, no what? Apparently, you don't have to be accepted to get into Hope's Peak Academy. But it's an academy that recruits only exceptional students uh, from around the world, right? 
I wanted to cover my ears. I wanted to run, but the place I just to the place I deserve to be. Not here. To the place where I could be more confident. Wow, I never knew that was, way was possible, so he's the same too, obviously. I mean, he doesn't have any special talents that Hope's Peak Academy would be interesting in. He's just a normal guy he'd found, be found anywhere. Well, admiring the Academy is free, but it must be tough for parents who have to write the check. Leave me alone. I just... I just want to be someone who's confident in myself. What is this, anyway? Who are they talking about? Why can't I remember? Who am I? Are we going to figure out what that is? You will. Okay. Oh, and we still get a Monokuma theater. Hey, hey! Ah. Do you know that talking about personal failure is a good way to break the ice when meeting new people? So, I'm gonna tell you the story of my personal failure. In the wild world I live in, popularity is a symbol of power. That's why I decided to write a fake love letter to myself so I could brag about it to others. I was bragging about it to my friend, but unfortunately all I had was an envelope. When my friend wanted me to show him the unwritten letter, I was in a real bind. So I showed him a blank piece of paper and said this. This letter was written by the special link, Ink. Only those chosen by God can see it. <laughs> when I said that, he was all, That love letter is brimming with passion. However, they started looking bad at this point. The other people turned around us started praising him because they thought he, was, they, he could really read the letter. That's when he started hogging everyone's attention as a divine messenger of God. And eventually, he was worshipped by society. Now, he uses his followers to sell shady vases for a quick buck. Thanks to my big mouth, he became a multi-millionaire. How regretful. What an epic fail. That's my story of personal failure. What do you think of it? Is the ice broken? I think that you're Nagito you secretly. listen to me, want to buy this vase? <laughs> I'm going to in a pretty high demand, but I'll give you a deal on it because I like you so much. Uh, thanks, Nagito. You're very gen- uh, I mean, uh, I mean, Monokuma. You're very generous. Oh, I can't tell the difference. Hmm? It's morning, huh? But for some reason, my body's heavy. No, not just heavy. It's somewhat soft and really hot. Wait a minute! Go oh, oh my god! Are we gonna do this again? Are we doing this again? Are we doing this again? Why? Oh my god. Yeah! <laughs> there you are, again! <laughs> hey, remember, how to be? Gone lip! Wow, please get a hold of yourself! Ugh. She's gonna kill him! Uh, remember, you gotta. Wait! It's starting to sound like Kifumi's voice. Sorry, sorry, yeah, you're right. <laughs> ah! He regained consciousness! Oh, I'm so glad I thought you died from suffocation! Like that? Mikan, why? Why are you here? The Monokuma announcement hasn't aired yet! Huh? Now that you mentioned it! Ha, wah, 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 wah. I came here to wake you up, but it seems like I accidentally fell asleep. What kind of accident is that? But good news, you see, Yakito's tradition is stabilized. Really? Oh, really? And I rushed over to let you guys know before you hit his room with locked, so... Oh, yeah. My lock is still broken. Thanks, Ibuki. Anyway, please hurry over. Yakito can probably be saved. Yeah, got it. Oof. <laughs> I quickly got dressed and headed over to the hospital of Mikan. Although I did wonder why it was necessary to be so pumped up for someone like Nagito. Why does she keep doing that? Oh well, best not to think about it. Ah, we need to stop meeting like this in that shit. Alright, let's go check on him. Alright, Nagito first. Ah! <laughs> I wonder what word for you Hiko is. Sleeping. Something, so oh yeah, true. The morning announcement hasn't come on yet. Oh yeah. There, I saw Nagito. He managed to sit up on his bed. Wait, that... No. There, I saw Nagito. He managed to sit up on his bed. What? What the... Okay, keep going. Just keep going. Nagito, you hear me? How'd you make here and see what we're doing? What if... I'll just... Okay. The 20 Ibukis are singing. I see Ibuki must have been a twin duo. The Veracanas. The... Sorry, Veronicas. Is he supposed to be cured? That was just weird, okay. It's not like he's completely cured, he was just able to recover from the critical condition. <laughs> that they're utilizing their characters, characteristic as twins that they've been uh, taking turns appealing before me. Which means, there are actually 17 people on this island. The Veronicas, that's the answer. Mm, after seeing this, it might have been better if he stayed quiet for just <laughs> a little longer. 
Me? I just, uh, he, I'm, I'm so glad I'm relieved that nothing's over just tosses just all thanks to me. Am I sitting on people when they're sleeping? Alright, wow, I'm so glad. Oh, I feel dizzy somehow every time, everything is spinning around me. Shouldn't you get some rest already? You should be exhausted from nursing without any sleep, right? No, I take 10,000 cups of coffee every day. <laughs> then if you insist, I will use that on call up room upstairs. You must be mentally exhausted, so it's better for you if you just relax in the lobby instead. Yeah, I'll do that. Then, even though it's morning, good night. Good, good morning. <laughs> Nikon wobbled around a bit and left the room. She's definitely exhausted. Well, it's understandable. I mean, she fell asleep when she was supposed to come and wake me up. Man, all alone with Hajime, huh? I can't stand being in the same room as you. Don't worry, I'm leaving. You should focus on curing that crappy disease of yours. <sighs> yeah, hurry up and go away. I, uh, hurry up and go away. I don't want to see your face anymore. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right, thanks, Nagito. And then he's just like at the door, Wait! Hajime! <laughs> okay, <get you> go <laughs> away! Please go <laughs> away! He's so reaching go out Go away! <laughs> okay, go ahead. The morning Monokuma announcement should be starting soon. I should wait at the lobby for the transmission. Sorry guys, we're just trying to rush this because, yeah, we have to go soon and we're trying to like get as much through as we can. Through as much as we can. Huh? The surveillance camera's unit light is blinking? But that's weird. It's not transmission time yet. <gasps> murder, 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 right? Probably. If the light is blinking, it receives some sort of transmission from the other side, right? But that's pretty early. We haven't received the Monokuma announcement yet. It might be something urgent, though. If so, there's no way I can make them wait until Fuyuhiko gets here. Alright, even if it's just me, I should receive the transmission. I reach my hand and press the reception button on the surveillance camera unit. Huh? Upon first glance, I immediately knew it wasn't a normal video. A slowly swaying dim light is shining on the black curtains. It felt like some sort of ritual was about to begin. Is this light from a candle? But what's the creepiest of all was the rope painting from the ceiling. The end of the rope was tied in a loop, and beneath it, there was a stepladder. Oh my- It's- it was like a gallows. What is this? Is it happening? I didn't understand at all, but what's going on with the music and- That's when it happened. Venue. Okay, sorry. <laughs> oh, whoa! Uh, the moment I saw the silhouette slowly entering the frame from the side of the screen, chills ran down my spine as if someone was dragging ice on me. A person was wearing a hospital gown and a hemp bag on their head. What the? As I raised my voice in surprise, the person in the hospital gown slowly be started moving. What? And began climbing the stepladder. Don't do it! Slowly, slowly. No, don't do it! They took the time climbing it. They reached over to the rope hanging from the ceiling. Are you kidding me? And at that moment... I- oh, Huh? What? The screen suddenly went pitch black, probably because the candle was the only source of light. They had- it had gone out. Hey! No matter what I said, there was no response from the darkness on the other end of the monitor. What? What the heck is this? What's going on? What- what, what in the world is going on? No, it doesn't matter. I have to do something about this. I might still be able to make it. I might- I need to hurry over to the music venue. I rushed out of the hospital, ran over to the music venue where the transmission was made. I can, he's like running really fast. What? What? Oh, okay. Oh my gosh, it's morning time. What? Just now. That was the morning Monokuma announcement. Fuyuhiko should be arriving here shortly. No, I don't have time to wait for him. I've got to get to the music venue. It seems like every like, sorry. Every chapter three, we're like rushing. Remember like the before the murder in the last one game? And now this one, we're like trying to get through. Okay. If they just drag on. All right. Um, yeah. Please, please let me make it. I rush into the music venue with a prayer in my heart. But I completely forgot. Prayer means nothing on this island. What? <gasps> who? Who? Who died? Who died? Ibuki! Ibuki! I was too late? Yes! Finally! <laughs> what the hell is this? In the hot air inside the music venue, I just couldn't keep myself yes! from shouting. Yes! I'm sorry to everyone, but- Hot air? Why is it so hot? 
What's the strange hot air inside this music venue? No, now's not the time to worry about that. More importantly, why isn't anybody coming? What is everyone doing? Ah, the body discovery announcement? That's right, there hasn't been an announcement yet. That's why nobody noticed I guess yet. it was three days. <laughs> then I need to hurry and let the others know. From here, the motel is close by. There should be a lot of able-bodied people who can help me there. I, I should hurry. What the frick frack snick snack? I ran to the motel as fast as I could, trying desperately not to trip over my own feet. What the actual? Hey, somebody get out here! As soon as I arrived at the motel, I started shouting for help as loud as I could. Gundam, you're the only one who came. <laughs> I was wondering who was making such an interfer racket. So it was you. Gundam, something awful has happened. So don't tell me. Do you intend to spread the pathogenic bacteria so you can take us all down with you? I won't let you! If you want to pass, you must defeat me first! What happened? The, the problem fighting is not allowed! It's worse than trouble. There's a body. Jesus! Huh? Didn't you hear me? A body was found! Could it be? B -b -body? Yeah. Could it be? Do you intend to spread lies like Nagito in order to confuse us all? Hold on. Oh wait. Hold on. Hajime, is that true? Of course it is! Isn't it obvious? Chiaki. You have seen Nagito's condition, yes? This fiend just has the same symptoms as him. But still... But there's no way we shouldn't check it out, because if Hajime is telling the truth, that means it happened again, right? What? You're killing, ga killing! If that's true, we need to check it out. If that's the case, I will not stop you. Leave, Leave this place to me, and you fiends go on ahead. <laughs> no need to worry, I will catch up to you easily. Oh, that, that sounds like famous last words. Chiaki, can you go? Yeah, it's better if we hurry, right? Oh, we're going back? Yeah. What the frick frack snick snack, man? Is that a buki or what? Uh, Hajime! Mikot, why are you here? It's perfect timing, please help us, Hajime! Help us? Ah, uh, uh, Hajime, someone's, someone's coming over there. Hajime and Shiaki, what are you guys doing here? Oh my god. Fuyuhiko, why are you here too? Isn't it obvious I'm looking for a buki? Looking for a buki? Uh, I was planning to rest out of the call room, but I wanted to check to everyone before I did that. And hey, look, he's missing from the hospital all of a sudden! Huh? So that Hajime was saying earlier. Everyone, let's hurry. Hurry where? To the music venue! Don't ask, just follow me! Music venue? I I book is going to be there! Okay, music venue! Uh, frick frack snick snack! Alright, I went in a circle. <laughs> well, happy for breakfast! <laughs> I'm, I'm not gonna- I'm not gonna miss her. For once in my life, I'm not gonna miss her. Uh, I still feel bad. My wound hasn't completely healed yet. Don't make me run too much. Hey. Is Ibuki inside there? The only way to know is to go inside and confirm if that hang body is really Ibuki. Should I just stop the episode now? Uh, do you want to continue? Wanna... We can do it. Yeah, right? you shouldn't leave them Let's... in. We can't just like leave that. you guys on a cliffhanger. Go ahead. Let's go. Let's do it. I clenched my teeth and reached my hand toward the door. Clatter, clatter, clatter. Huh? huh? What the heck? Why is it locked? That doesn't make sense. I mean, I was able to go through here just a few minutes ago. But then, don't we try from another entrance? This is the only entrance to the music venue. There isn't even a window where we can go through. But why is it locked? I don't understand it myself, Let's but go. if we don't open it, the only thing we can do is force our way through. Hmm, I wonder if that's going to be possible. Of the four of us, two of, a, two of us are girls, you know. It doesn't do matter it. if you can do it or not. We have to try. Damn. Oh, okay. Let's go. We'll all charge at the same time. I like- Ready? I like his style. Set. Go! I feel Hiko signal. We charge into the door at force. Full force. Bam! Bam. And the, a the bad door room. moved. Wait, what? Maybe it'll open easily after all. Yeah, even if we're with two girls here, what? All right, one more time. It has nothing to do with that. At Hiko signal. We charge into the door one more time. Slam! <gasps> it was like a live performance had just ended. This is like soccer all over again when they had to get through. That movement, that moment of silence just before the audience breaks out in thunderous applause. And a few minutes after that silence, a scream surfaced. <gasps> yeah! <gasps> Wait, what? Wait, what? What? <gasps> yeah! Two birds with one stone! Yeah! Yeah! Alright, keep going. <laughs> there.
It wasn't just a hanged body. I'm sorry, body. I'm sorry. I, I feel terrible. There was also another body. Next a suspended body. <laughs> Two down, one to go. <laughs> sorry, I'm so bad, man. All right, guys. Whoa. Oh my god. That just happened? Okay, all right. We'll, we'll have to discuss this later on. Hold on. Body's been discovered, I know. What the? Another body, right? Oh, you said it twice. Okay, guys. In the next episode, figure out what the whole dealy spiely dealy is with these two. Am I sad? We'll see how I feel later on. Because uh, for now, I'm a little bit neutral. Actually, I'm actually pretty excited. I don't know why. But two birds with one stone! Sorry, I feel terrible. If you guys hate me, I'm sorry. I don't care. <laughs> someone, Put any hates in the comments below. Huh? Someone Ethan likes and someone I like are both <laughs> dead. <laughs> you guys both hate me, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> yes! Anyway. Yeah, Ethan likes Ibuki and uh, Dylan likes uh, Hiyoko. Anyway, guys. Hope you liked the video. Comment down below. Leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next adventure of Nolan's Ark for the investigation. Bye! Bye.